All right, guys, just a few notes since we've had our pool. Uh, this is our second season, and uh, we're getting a lot of use out of it. Uh, one of the things that's probably very obvious that only in the second season that I think of was how to uh, just simply level out your skimmer right here so it's not tilted one way or the other. For me, I couldn't get it level just by, you know, tightening this up and moving it around. It just, it always wanted to sort of bend forward. So I just took a piece of plastic or something, you know, that's not going to puncture the pool wall, obviously. And I might change that out, actually put something else a little softer in there. But it's just a flat, flush piece of plastic that I put under to force it to uh, be level so that water is sucked in from all sides. So if you're, if you're not aware of that, you probably are. I'm probably the only one in the world that wasn't. That's something you want to do. It works a whole lot better. Uh, but really, this video is about a leak that we had and um i came out here one night when it was really quiet it wasn't raining but i'm hearing water so i look over by the pool and let's see right here it's about the size of a dime there's water just shooting out you know psh. so the first thing i did was i took a suction cup and put on the inside so that the pressure would help seal it I had a small suction cup. It worked about 99%, so this big string turned into just a little drip. A bigger suction cup, better suction cup would have been better, but that may work for you in an emergency situation. We didn't have any patches or anything. So I got on YouTube, did some research, figured out what, what I want to do. Saw the Flex Seal Pull Patch Kit. It comes with two um, patches that have the adhesive on one side. It also comes with glue. I guess that's the additional adhesive. So... What you see on the outside, I did on the inside. One flex uh, seal pull patch here, the smaller one. And this right here is Gorilla Tape. It's waterproof. Put that on the outside. I also used adhesive, not just on the backing of the patches, but I used the extra glue and just slimed it everywhere. So that's on the inside too. The additional thing I did was I got the flex seal putty. Um, and I put that on the inside of the pool see this this is not smart to hold your phone like this uh, but this side iphone 14 so maybe it would survive so you can kind of see it and uh, you'll notice it looks kind of rough like it's peeling but i think i accidentally when i was cleaning the pool wall scraped across it with the brush so i'm not gonna diss it yet i'm just gonna redo it put some more over top of it and see how it um does over time but this pool's been patched for over a month Hang on, Zach. Hang on, buddy. This pool has been patched for over a month, and it's perfect. There's not a drop of water coming out of it. I probably didn't need the Flexil Putty, but I was like, when I was researching, I'm like, I'm not just going to try one solution and have it fail. I'm going to get three and just go all out, and that's worked for us. So anyway, if you have a leak on this, I don't know how it's going to work on the bottom of your pool, on the, flo uh, on the floor of your pool, but I can tell you for sure, so far, a month in, <clears throat> It's working great no problems and we've been in here three of us swimming around floating around um so uh if you have any questions you have any comments is there any way i can help you with anything uh regarding this video just leave a comment and uh, i'll get back to you as soon as i can thanks